Hi everyone, thanks for watching my YouTube contents. I'm Sang Kim. In the previous video, I tried to explain how to do principal component analysis in R and how to calculate a linear combination uh, for uh, principal component analysis using uh, spectrality composition. In this video, I would like to focus on how to get uh, information about the variables and observations uh, from principal component analysis. This information is useful when you draw a plot to understand the relationship between variables and observations. Uh, let me also introduce one of useful another uh, R, pro, R library, which is uh, factor mine R and factor extra. This is uh, also a useful uh, library for principal component analysis related to visualization. And uh, you can use uh, capital PCA function with the scale uh, true option. Then you can have this uh, variable information related to variable. The first one is coordinates, and the second one is correlation. And the third one is square cosine. The last one is contribution. So when you, you uh, standardize data, uh, also scale option, uh, this scale true option, you can have same uh, values for coordinates and correlation. Right? So if you do not scale, uh, uh, if you do not standardize your data, it has different values. Let me show you how to get uh, these uh, values in Excel. All right? In the previous video, I showed you how to calculate uh, principal, first the principal uh, component and second the principal component uh, related to each observations. All right? So let's calculate uh, coordinates here. So coordinates can be calculated uh, by using correlation function between uh, standardized variable and each principal component. Let's get uh, HT2, this one, and comma PC1. For HT3, select uh, standardized data and principal component. Same approach for WD1, comma, and PC1. For WD2, comma PC1. For WD3, and select PC1. apply uh, this formula for PC2, P3, like this, then we can have the uh, same output. Okay. Uh, in order to get uh, squared cosine, we can use coordinates and square. Okay. This is uh, same as squared cosine here. Right, and contribution uh, we can use a square cosine and sum of uh, principal components and multiply by 100. Right, as you can see. Uh, we calculate coordinates and squared cosine and contribution. So when you see, this is how to interpret, uh, how to use this data, interpret this data. So for PC1, all variables uh, have very similar uh, contribution, right? But uh, for uh, second principal components, WD1 and WD2 uh, shows, uh, has higher contribution than uh, those of other variables and for PC3 as you can see uh, clearly 
WD variables uh, has uh, have more contribution than uh, those of uh, height variables, right? And for uh, coordinates, uh, it's related to uh, visualization. So uh, all uh, variable uh, PC1 has uh, positive values, but for PC2 uh, has a different, uh, I mean, direction. So HT uh, related variables has same uh, direction, but for uh, WD related variables has a different direction. So once we draw a plot, it, it will be more clear. Uh, it will be much clearer. Right. Let's move on. Uh, how to uh, get information related to uh, observations. So uh, from factor mine R, so uh, you can get uh, individual information uh, by using this uh, uh, command. So as you can see, this uh, coordinates and cos uh, squared cosine is actually uh, different from uh, base library. This is how I actually calculated this uh, principal component scores uh, directly by using a uh, singular value decomposition. So uh, it shows different results. However, if you specify scale as false option, you can have same output. So uh, let me use uh, this output here in this uh, video because uh, factor, nine, factor mine R library is a very powerful uh, library for visualization. So I just copied uh, coordinates here, right? Then uh, let me show you how to get uh, uh, other informations. So squared cosine uh, can be calculated by uh, each dimension, squared each dimension, and some sq of all dimensions. Right, as you can see, this one, uh, square cosine. Is that wrong? Something wrong? Ah, sorry, it should be, we need to fix column here. Okay, okay. let me apply this formula again. And we can have same output, right? Right. Uh, in terms of uh, contribution, so this is how to calculate contribution for each observation. From coordinates, uh, we need to square it, and over some sq. or uh, observations and times 100. So this is same as this one. Again, as you can see, right, same value. And lastly, uh, let's get this uh, distance. So this distance is actually uh, we need to use coordinates and we want to measure the distance between each observation with the center. So it means that uh, let's use uh, Euclidean distance formula. So square root of uh, some sq of This formula for other cells. Okay. Okay. Same up. Right. So again, uh, let's uh, interpret the, uh, this result. So this square cosine means uh, according to uh, this formula. So this uh, how much each observations are related to each uh, uh, principal uh, each uh, principal component. I mean dimension. And this contribution is actually uh, among, uh, I mean, for, for the first uh, dimension, how much the first uh, observation contributes to uh, this uh, dimension, 
right so as you can see the second observation and uh, which one uh, this uh, fifth observation uh, shows very uh, higher contribution than others right this is how to uh, interpret uh, contribution I hope this video uh, this video was uh, useful to understand how to calculate uh, how to get information related to variables and information uh, observations uh, for visual visualization. I will explain uh, how to visualize these uh, results in our program in the next uh, video uh, contents. Please click uh, like and subscribe if it was useful for you. Thank you.